So this is Echinacea, Echinacea pallida, one of my favorite plants, probably my favorite plant. Um, and I've studied and written extensively about all the Echinacea, which were the most widely used medicine by Native Americans across the Great Plains, Midwest. We've now documented over 18 different tribes that use this as a medicine. It was used for snake bites, it was used when people feel sick, it was used for problems with blood, it had all sorts of used topically for skin problems, for healing wounds. Um, it was a cure-all of all sorts. Now we find this plant has an immune stimulant in it. In fact, it has more than one. Um, and immune stimulants help strengthen the body, maybe help you resist getting a virus, which might be a good thing, or resist getting uh, infection. Um, so we know that there's a response by this immune stimulant, and there's immune stimulant in the carbohydrate fraction of this plant. But if you take this plant and you remove all the carbohydrate, um, there's immune response to the rest of the plant. So we know that it really there's more than one substance in here and we have something we call polypharmacy, that there's several things happening at the same time that potentially can affect uh, the human body. This has been studied a lot, but still scientists, chemists have not been figure out, figure out exactly the uh, designation, the formulation of that large uh, polysaccharide. So it's somewhat confusing plant so popular right now you can't even hardly buy it with uh, concerns about viruses being extreme uh, the supplies of this have dwindled does it would it cure the coronavirus no but it might help you resist getting sick maybe maybe five percent maybe one percent maybe a little more we've not studied that it'd be a great thing uh, to study there's been concerns about echinacea disappearing. There's been so much harvested. I've documented millions of plants being dug up. Um, so there are conservation concerns. In some places, plants have been dug up on reserves, um, which is really bad. Um, so in some cases, people are really, really, really concerned about over harvest. We've done work. We've gone out with diggers who dig it in Western Kansas and up in Montana. And we found that after they had reported, it keeps coming back that when harvested, and they take six to eight inches of the root, 50% of those plants come back. So there are realms of harvest that would be sustainable. So if there's a, a, an occasional harvest, um, the plant will pop back, um, which is kind of a relief. Not that it, sh not that it should be harvested in beautiful hay meadows, um, but there are probably places where it's abundant enough in the wild. Out in the high plains, you'll find places where you can still see tens of thousands of, of plants and in some of those places it can be harvested uh, sustainably.